fishing, just fishing, fishing, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks. All right, here we go, guys, and another freshwater fishing video shot down in South Florida at my sister and brother-in-law's home in Boca Raton. They're very lucky to have a freshwater lake in their backyard, and it's filled with all different types of species. You'll see that here. Um, you might have also seen my hook and finger video that was also shot here. Um, I'll include a link to that in the description. There should be some running video right now showing showing that. Um, it, this video, though, is going to chronicle the three different styles of freshwater fishing I use. Same rod, same position, right? I, I'm technically not supposed to fish there the condo association frowns upon it but they don't stop you uh but i i didn't walk around the lake i i stayed right behind their house so um you know not to disturb other people's backyards um the the three different styles i'm fishing here are uh, using a popper using something a technique called the drop shot technique and then uh just using a, a rapala x wrap swimming plug um you know uh Two of those techniques worked well. One uh, failed miserably, and we'll, we'll go into that. I'll also let you know what my favorite was. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little different, but it's something to keep us occupied, uh, you know, until fluke season opens in May, which is uh, it's now mid-February. We're getting closer and closer to that magical day. Hope you all enjoy. And as always, if you like the video, please hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like this content, please do hit that subscribe button. And let's save the worst for first. We'll start with the poppers. Um, had no luck with these. And uh, before I get hate mail, I know it works. I've seen videos online, fresh water, obviously salt water it works, uh, but it did not work for me. Uh, just impossible. I bought a couple different brands, tried them both, uh, nothing. And when I tell you these fish are jumping at the surface all day in this lake, but I couldn't get a nibble. And I literally have a couple of hours of this uh, casting, popping, casting, popping with no luck. Uh, if anybody's an insomniac, let me know. I will send them the video. Uh, I guarantee it'll put you right to sleep if this video hasn't already. Um, so let's go to the next, uh, next style. Uh, my second favorite, and that's the swimming plug. I'm going to save the drop shot for last. That, that to me was the most fun, but uh, certainly had a lot of luck with the swimming plug. Again, a, a, a Rapala X wrap. And here we go. Some, some highlights of that. Largy. Not bad. Oh. And yeah, before anybody comments, I 100% learned my lesson during this trip about using pliers to get these treble hooks out of the fish. Uh, I'll have a link to the hook fish video, like I said, in, in the description. If, if you want to be grossed out, you can watch that. Uh, this next fish, also on a swimming plug, is... Uh, the the fish that got me uh, a, a nice big peacock but we'll we'll spare you the gore we'll we'll just show the fish being caught and not the actual hook going through my finger whoa right here Good one. Gonna jump. Maybe not. Oh, peacock. 
Nice. Nice fish, nice fish. Oh. Nice one on the Rapala X8. All right, buddy. Nice one. Nice. That's a large mouth. Whew. Decent size. Come on, baby. Stay on. It's a two, three pounder. Yeah. All right, guy. Ah, he just got off right here. Nice fish. And last but not least, we're going to switch over to my the favorite style that I, you know, first time I ever fished this during during this last trip down in Florida, that, and that's the drop shot. And we'll, we'll start with a, a little demo of how easy it is to tie a drop shot. Um, and I, I got to give thanks to Michael Baroden of Texas Fishing Online. He's a ex-Long Island boy now living in Texas, and he's got a, a really cool uh, YouTube channel also, Texas Fishing Online. I'll include a link to that in my description, um, mostly freshwater based. Uh, but uh, he reached out to me and said, hey, if you're going to be fishing freshwater, you might want to try the drop shot. It's a lot of fun, and I couldn't agree more. It really reminds me of of jigging for fluke it's it's casting out and you'll see i'm doing these these crazy jerks and the really what what made it fun for me is I, i'm presuming these are less aggressive species but some exotics were caught um and and we'll see those uh including a, a knife clownfish and a south american armored catfish that's a mouthful or or a pleco uh, that's the easier way to say it and those are those are coming up but thanks michael for for giving me, uh, you know, putting that in my brain to try the drop shot. Real easy technique, real easy to tie, and a lot of fun. Do a quick video on the drop shot. Don't think this is going to come out clear, but we'll try. So this is a 1-0 Kale wide gap hook. And we're going to tie this first. We're going to give it uh, enough line so that we could put weight at the end and you want the weight I don't know about a foot below and it's real easy it's just a, a cinch knot you tie it in line with the cinch knot I'm gonna do about eight wraps there just pull it down Get a little saliva then the trick is you want to take the tag end take the tag end just pass it through the, the hole. There we go. And that will stay on. Vertical. Or horizontal, I should say. Next, got a little drop shot sinker. This is one eighth of an ounce. And I think sometimes when we're black fishing and we need 20 ounces. The line is a 10 pound floral uh, cigar. I'm just going to try another cinch knot here. Again, seven eight loops. Pass it through the tag end. The saliva. Got to be careful with this line. It breaks real easy if you to cinch it too hard. That's it. Let's try right there. Oh, there we go. Oh, this has some weight. Oh, the bass. Stay on. 
not bad. Not too shabby. He would measure in a tournament. That perfect hook set too. Easy release. Oh, got a little ice on them. Not a bad fish though. Healthy. Yeah. Pound and a half. Two pounds. Yeah, two pounds. There he goes. What is this? Is this a snake head? Oh boy. I have no idea what this is. And what this was, was a clown knife fish, an invasive aquarium species. That's right, somebody's pet released into the wild and repopulating in Florida. And I actually caught two on this trip. Uh, this was the first one. Had me completely befuddled. Thank you, Instagram, for uh, helping solve the mystery. And the, the aquarium theme continues with the next fish, uh, a pleco, a south American armored catfish. Looks like a black sea robin. And again, the drop shot, the fact that you're, you know, not reeling it in fast, you're dragging it on the bottom, little jerks, quick jerks, um, gives these bottom feeders, I guess, the opportunity to get this that you wouldn't get with the, with the swimming plugs. Feels big. What is this? Huh. Okay. Another new species. Holy cow. All right. And here's a close-up of that Pleco, and, and we'll end this video with uh, two of the larger largemouth bass I caught, both on the drop shot, and uh, one last clip where I, I had a close encounter with a gecko. Well, it wasn't really a close encounter, but he was definitely in my spot. Oh, this is big. He ran with it. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. Wow. That's a nice one. Oh, biggest bass I've caught so far this trip. Um, caught. Whoa! Ooh. That wasn't good, KJ. He's none the worse for wear. Look at that one. Yeah, this is, I'm gonna say three and a half, four pounds. Look at that. All right, buddy. Sorry about that drop.
There we go. Whoa, Nelly. Not too shabby. Oh, nice one. Oh. Wow. Wow, sir. Look at that mouth. Uh, caught fish. Hoo hoo hoo. That is a beauty. That is four plus pounds. Wow. Oh. And he's gone. Fishing. Just fishing. Fishing. Just fishing. Somebody's trying to take my fishing spot. Fishing. Let's see if they can scare him away. Just fishing. Come on, buddy. Get fishing. Just fishing. Come on. Come on. There you go. Move. Go. Come on, come on, come on. Dang, look how long his tail is. Psst. 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 All right, well, we're gonna have to uh, share our fishing hole here, I guess. <laughs>